hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the jump and level instructions which are most frequently used in plc letter logic programming before we start the programming first let's uh, have a look at its function blocks and letter symbols this is the function block and letter symbol of the jump instruction in the programming we use the jmp as we can see the jump instruction has a jump control en and operand lbl label which is used for the label lbl the program label to be jumped this label can be any unique name consisting of alphanumeric characters it can be a simple name or it can consist of both the english letters and numbers we cannot use a reserved label names now let's talk about the jump control en when jump control en is equal to one or when it goes from zero to one plc will jump to the location behind the marked label and continues to execute the program one and zero represents the inputs from the switches or sensors connected to the plc inputs pins or control signals from SCADA application. SCADA stands for supervisory control and data acquisition. Using SCADA, we can make the jump control in is equal to zero or one by pressing the on-screen button manually or through predefined conditions using C language scripting. After covering all the basic functions, then we will start the SCADA application designing and C programming. Subscribe my channel so that you never miss any of my upcoming SCADA tutorials. After covering SCADA, then we will start the practical implementations by connecting industrial sensors, interfacing relays, motors, etc. So now let's get back to our main topic. This instruction is especially suited for the applications where some part of the program will be executed only under certain condition this can shorter the scan time while not executes the whole program now label in, in programming we use the lbl this is the function block and letter symbol for the the label instructions and as we can see for the label instruction we don't need any E N R control signal so it can have any alphanumeric uh, name uh, as i told you earlier this instruction is used to make a take on certain address within a program to provide a target address for execution of jump call instruction and interrupt service the instruction itself will not perform any action whether the program contains this function or not the result of program execution will not be influenced by this instruction it means that the the uh, the level instruction will always be used in combination with the jump instruction so if there is no jump instruction and we have used only the level instruction so it will have no effect on the program the label name can be formed by any one six alphanumeric characters the name cannot be duplicate in the same program the following label names are reserved for interrupt function usage. These reserved words cannot be used for normal program labels. So these are the label names which we cannot use. So now let's start the programming. Open the WinProLetter software. Click New. Select the type of PLC you are using and OK. Now press A on the keyboard, write X0 and press F on the keyboard and write JMP jump and write a label now this label can be any name uh, let's for example use ABCD okay and now let's use another and the output Y0 X2 and output y1 let's use a timer function t and let's use t54 
and use it for four seconds and here again press F on the keyboard and write LBL for the label and write the same ABCD so A B C D and write another X4 and output Y5 and then let's end the program click F and write end now let's check this one simulation run PLC on you can see the timer is running and the output is high and let's use a normally closed switch first stop PLC press B on the keyboard and write T54 and now let's check run PLC now it's on for now it's off okay it will remain on for four seconds and then turns off so you can see that it's working and this one is also working we can on and off and this one is also working so what happens if you turn on this now this is on and now you can see that the timer has stopped it's not working anymore whether you turn it off or turn it off it's not working and similarly this is also not working why when we press this button the en is equal to zero the en, the EN is equal to one so it will jump from here to here and these all instructions are not executed so, and this one will be working because this is outside so as you can see this is working and if I turn it off you can see the timer has start again and it can be controlled and likewise this one so this is how to use the jump and level instructions in, our, in your letter logic programming if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching